Okay, I know how some Virgos are. Some of you are not going to be happy that you have to take care of this this man or woman that's homeless. But for some of you, you will have to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, what's the next card? Oh, yeah, there's anger here. This person's angry. You're this person's holding on to your energy, okay? There's somebody here that's holding on to your energy. Okay, they're holding on to it very, very hard. Okay, it, it's honestly, I feel like this is what's keeping you, like, I feel like Virgo, a lot of you are, like, juggling, like, sh should I move forward or should I not? Like, you're wanting to see how this plays out, but I also feel like Virgo, a lot of time has just been spent waiting on this individual, on this person, and they haven't really done anything. Um, I feel like it might be some of you that ne needs to initiate this, because you have the Nine of Swords and the Chariot there, so it's like... I'm not saying to admit your feelings to this individual, because if this is a twin flame, sometimes twin flames get really, really scared when feelings get involved and they go running. So it's almost like, just talk to them, I guess. I'm not too sure. So this person sees you as dreamy, they dream about you, but with the high priestess and the moon there and then the star, it's like this person dreams about you all the time. Okay, and I feel like they're communicating with you in the 5D, sending you messages, okay, trying to talk to you. Hello, my beautiful Virgos, welcome back. Love and light to all. Starts desired here, if you're new, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay, this is the tea for my beautiful Virgos. So we're gonna get started here. Okay, I think the last video we did, it was like, they're holding on to your energy, they don't want to let you go. So we'll see if it's the similar message. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. And with all that out of the way, we're gonna get started. We're gonna roll the dice first. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have the moon, so we could see cancer. Somebody could be dealing with a cancer. We have a uh, Tauros. You could be dealing with a Tauros. Ooh, and we have Leo. Interesting. So we have Tauros, Cancer, and Leo. We have Venus, the moon, and the sun. So we could see strength. Oh, I changed it. Okay. We could see strength. We could also see the sun. The moon, we could see the moon card. With Tauros, Tauros gets a little tricky because we could see the Hierophant, but we could also see the Empress, and we could also see Justice because Tauros is ruled by Venus, and so are those cards. So we're going to get started here. We're getting number five as well. So that is the Hierophant, interesting, which is Tauros. So you have power number five. You could be a life path number five. Something could be happening in five days, five hours, five minutes, five months, okay? We could see the Hierophant card. We could also see the Empress and Justice, as I said earlier. So we're going to shuffle the deck to five times. One. Two, three, four, five. Your 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 uh your energy is very balanced, very balanced. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this general read for my Virgo collective. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial knowledge. Ooh, three of swords. Okay. Um, Four of Swords. Somebody's not ready to let you go. Yeah, this is a similar message that's coming up. Four of Wands. For a lot of you, this is a Twin Flame. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Chariot. Okay, a lot of these cards came out for a client read. I'm just going to say Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I see here, Virgo, the T here is... This person's holding on to your energy, okay? There's somebody here that's holding on to your energy. Okay, they're holding on to it very, very hard. Okay? It, it's honestly... I feel like this is what's keeping you... Like, I feel like, Virgo, a lot of you are, like, juggling. Like, sh should I move forward or should I not? Like, you're wanting to see how this plays out. But I also feel like, Virgo, a lot of time has just been spent waiting on this individual, on this person, and they haven't really done anything. Um... I feel like it might be some of you that ne needs to initiate this because you have the Nine of Swords and the Chariot there. So it's like, I'm not saying to admit your feelings to this individual 
because if this is a twin flame, sometimes twin flames get really, really scared when feelings get involved and they go running. So it's almost like, just talk to them, I guess. I'm not too sure. I want to clarify the chariot, but the nine of swords and the chariot, it's like, you feel this connection with this individual. They're holding on to your energy. They're holding on very, very hard. Okay, they're not wanting to let you go, especially at night. I feel like this is where you feel them most. They're holding on to you so hard. You know, we're seeing the chariot there, <clears throat> which is Cancer energy, the moon. So I forgot to say that. We rolled the moon, so here we have the moon showing up through the chariot, Cancer energy. <clears throat> it could be that you've been trying to move on from this, but this person is holding on to you energetically. Okay, their heart is tied to you. And I feel like the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles, for a lot of you, this is a divine counterpart. Like, this is somebody that you're meant to be with in this lifetime. Okay, the King of Pentacles, somebody that settles down. Okay, once they're settled down, they're not really going anywhere. Okay, they, they get nice and comfortable. Okay, you see he's more bulky, right? He has a bigger butt. Once he sits his butt down on the, on the throne, okay, he's really not going to get up. Okay, he's nice and comfortable there. And that's where he wants to be. And it's like... I don't know what's going on with this individual. They're just not cooperating. You know what I get? Because the King of Pentacles, some of the negative aspects of the King of Pentacles is just being stubborn, flat out stubborn, uh, refusing to acknowledge one's feelings and emotions. So I do feel like that's what you're dealing with. Okay, all these cards want to come flying out. <laughs> We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like you guys are trying to move on, but they're holding... They have a they have a really strong hold on your energy. Yeah, the star. You're their wish fulfillment. You're the one that they want. You're the one that they dream about before they go to sleep, right? The stars come out at night before they go to sleep. What did I say? At night, this is when this person is thinking about you the most. Four of Swords. The man lying in the bed, okay? Man or woman, whatever your situation. When they go to bed, that's when they're thinking about you the most. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, look at this, the High Priestess and the Moon. There's the Moon card coming in. So we have uh, both both re representations of Cancer here, the Moon and the Chariot. But the Moon card in Tarot is also Pisces energy. A lot of people don't know that. So you have Pisces here, and then you have Pisces with the High Priestess. So you have double the Pisces energy, double Neptune energy. And then you have Uranus here, Uranus, whatever, however you say it. So this person sees you as dreamy, they dream about you, but with the High Priestess and the, the Moon there and then the Star, it's like this person dreams about you all the time, okay? And I feel like they're communicating with you in the 5D, sending you messages, okay, trying to talk to you. Yeah, you have the Tower here. There was a Tower moment, the Queen of Cups, and Judgment. I feel like you made the decision to just walk away and move on from this person because the Ten of Swords is here. I feel like this person backstabbed you, or you feel like they betrayed you. I feel like they really hurt you, okay? I'm going to be honest, Virgo. You know, the Ten of Swords is there. I feel like, you know, they really disappointed you. They really let you down. And it's almost like there's no going back from this. It was like this was supposed to be a new beautiful beginning, and before it even started, it was shot down, is what I'm saying here. But it's like you guys are still communicating in the 5D. You're still communicating with your future selves but here on the physical reality it's like not much is really happening or there's been a lot of blocks for some of you this could be a Taurus it could be a Leo it could be a Pisces Scorpio Aries or a Cancer that you're dealing with we're seeing a lot of signs here okay I'm just gonna say there was a tower moment you made the decision you're like you're done you're done putting in the energy into this connection, but it's like this person is still holding on to you and they're not wanting to let go, okay? Some of you may have moved on, but I still feel their energy lingering around you, okay? It's lingering around your aurora. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Um, the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, like you've been wanting this person to come forward, but it's like they're not. Ten of Cups. Yeah, because a lot of you see this as wish fulfillment. You know this is your person. You know you're meant to be with this individual, but it's like they're not doing anything or they keep um, coming in and out of your life like nothing. It's like you just feel so frustrated. It feels like it's not going anywhere. The Eight of Pentacles, it's just like you're you're in this cycle. Like nothing's really happening. Nothing's really changing. There's no real progress is what I'm saying. It's like this person still has a lot of lessons that they need to learn. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like they were breadcrumbing you. They weren't giving you the full story or they just weren't emotionally available towards you. Or they weren't really showing commitment. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody that you're destined to be with in this lifetime, Page of Pentacles. But it's like this individual, as, as the Page of Pentacles, their foundation is very weak. Like they may have issues with commitment here. Three of Cups. Okay, what is the Three of Cups strength? Yeah, you really want things to work out with this person, but right now, don't put your life on hold for this person, okay? Do continue to work on yourself, work on your business stuff, okay? Travel, if you have the opportunity to, okay? Don't just sit around waiting for this person to message you. Yeah, it's like, you want this love offer with them, but it's, it's almost like this person is just very back and forth, very flaky. Yeah, emotionally unavailable, but as a King of Cups, you have a pair. You have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So it's like, this is a real divine union. I do see that eventually Spirit is going to force this person into your life. But for some of you, that may not happen until the spring or summertime. So right now, it's like, you 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 know, don't don't let your emotions get caught up in this. The Two of Cups. Yeah, the Chariot, because it is going to happen. It's just right now, there's this period of separation. There's this period of silence. The Knight of Wands tells me that eventually this person, those of you that were, you know, uh, sexually active with this individual, eventually they're going to come rushing back because it's so good with you. It's a dream come true. That's why all that Pisces energy was there, that Neptune energy. Because it's a dream come true when they do it with you, Virgo. Okay? Nobody gets down like you. You smell very good. Okay, you have good hygiene. Okay, you have good hygiene down there. Okay, down there and everywhere. And this person likes that about you. So if you were already intimate with them, they're flying back in. Trying to get you. These cards just flew right out. You cannot, you cannot make this up. Tell me which cards flew out, Virgo. Tell me which cards flew out while I was shuffling the deck. You're going to have them in reverse. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You have two pairs. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. And now you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You have two pairs here. I'm thinking 1111. Which is a twin flame for a lot of you. Or a high level soulmate. But it's in reverse. You see, that's, what happen that's what's happening. There's not a commitment right now. It's like undecided. Nobody really knows what's happening. <clears throat> What else, Spirit? Yeah, you're going to have the Queen of Cups. You see? You see? There's another pair here. It's crazy. The Three of Pentacles. Like, you're just wanting to work on it, but this person, they're being very stubborn right now. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Like, they left you out on the cold, Virgo. So the T is, because the devil's there, the T is that this person is going to come back. Eventually, they're going to come back, and they're going to be a pain. They're planning. They're plotting. Okay. But with the devil there, strong Capricorn energy, with the devil there, it's almost like this person is coming in. Just, you know, be careful because it could be that they're just wanting to be intimate with you, okay, to have sex, okay? Or they might not have changed and it might just be the same thing again. Like, there's, there's a lot of lessons this person still needs to learn. It could even be that they have gone homeless and now they need you to take them in. Virgo, they could have gone homeless and now they're coming to you because they need you to take them in. They have no one else to turn to. And for some of you, it is your job to take care of this homeless person. I know a lot of you are going to be very mad at me for saying this. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not, you know, you know, but for some of you, it is going to be your, <laughs> look, I'm not laughing at that situation. I, I'm just laughing at some of you because I know how some of you are. Okay, I know how some Virgos are. Some of you are not going to be happy that you have to take care of this this man or woman that's homeless. But for some of you, you will have to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, what's the next card? Oh, yeah, there's anger here. This person's angry. You're angry at them. Magnetic. You guys have a telepathic bond. Yeah, they're, they're, this has been just, oh, forms, okay, this is, 
you guys are very intense. I wonder if a lot of you are dealing with a Leo. What else do we have here? Mount, oh my god, Virgo. This has been, ugh, alien. Um, yeah, it's it's been a really crappy situation. But it's important to keep the faith, okay? Keep the positive. Okay, secrets. Yeah, this person wasn't being honest. Coldness. Alrighty, um, yeah, things are gonna work out. It's just that there's a lot that still needs to be resolved, okay? It's, it's gonna take some time. Okay, don't try to rush this. You know, if you're looking for an overnight answer, don't don't expect that yet. Yeah, marriage, like a lot of you, this is going to be a long-term thing with this person, but it's just, you know, teamwork. And there hasn't been a lot of that, and it's on this person's end. Um, yeah, take some time off, and you don't need to tell people about that. Like, <clears throat> just withdraw your energy, okay? Yeah, because this this was a lot of chaos, and I definitely felt it in the cards. <clears throat> at the bottom, you have lightning. It was love at first sight. For a lot of you, it was love at first sight. So this person is never going to forget about you. They're up all night stressing about you, okay? They're holding on to your energy. They're not going anywhere. You really need to just relax, okay? Just take a deep breath, because it's going to be okay. So that is your read. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care.